loves it's your girl in Keiichi back at you with another YouTube video now if you haven't subscribed to my channel do subscribe to my channel decided to give you a quick view on how I go about doing my hair mask now that is um, a hair mask that has lots of nutrients healthy for your hair it's a great thing to do when you want to give yourself a nice treatment it has lots of oils in it essential oils and lots of healthy powders now if you have not subscribed to my channel I try to make sure I get in a hair mask every 30 days if I can to make sure that my hair is getting the nutrients it needs, it's getting cleansed. And um, this is just an all around um, routine that you should um, add in your hair regimen. So if you'd like to see how I do my hair mask, just keep watching. So these are the products that I use for my hair mask. Now I do have a video demo on this, so take a look at that video. I like to use it either in this consistency or a little bit more solid. Now I already have my hair mixture. I did let it sit for a little bit. It will harden a little bit, but what you can do is put some warm water in it or a little bit more conditioner in it. So this is what you would get. And after you've mixed it in, this is exactly what it's going to look like. Um, this is the consistency. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move forward with applying this in my hair. All right, so now let's get started. So what I like to do is part my hair in four sections. That is the best way for me to make sure that I get the application, the hair mask, any product that I'm using. If I put it in those four parts, I'm able to control and make sure everything is distributed all around my hair. I do like to plait it or twist it down and keeping everything separate so that way I focus on one section. So I'm going to start with this back section. I do have a little bit of a hard time trying to grow my hair sometimes, especially in the nape area. I have a little weak spot in the nape area, so I will do a challenge to grow my nape area back. Yes, that's my soft spot right there. It is really sensitive, so any little thing will break it down. So my plan is to trim the back end of my hair and just let it grow afresh. I like to go ahead and make sure my hair is moisturized with my spritz um, and just make sure that it is also detangled. As you can see, that is what I normally would do with my hair. So I also like to put on gloves when I do my hair mask. It can be a bit messy. Um, it can also discolor your fingernails. So I just like to make sure everything is covered up and that way we are ready to roll. It is also great to make sure you get in a good massage, get the blood flowing. Um, you want to make sure that all the nutrients from your mask is getting in your hair follicles. So here we go. Oh my goodness, so this can be a little bit messy as you can see. I had a little bit of mishap with my hair mask falling all over the place. Um, what you want to do is to be sure to cover what you are standing on, anything underneath you. Um, if you want to use a trash bag or maybe a cloth that you no longer use, this would be preferable so you don't mess up your carpets or um, your floors. So what I normally would do is to go ahead and apply my hair mask and then I will take each section, um, part that aside, twist this up and then do the same thing with another section that I will part. So I repeat the step all the way through with all four sections of my hair.
As you can see during this hair mask, I really did not lose that much hair. After applying the max, I will go through each section and just give it a quick massage and on to the next. with my hair got some other things done chores around the house and let this sit in for at least an hour um, you could do 30 minutes and then wash it out I like to sit mine for an hour or let it stay overnight and then I'll wash it off the next morning I'm going to let you see what it looks like um it looks kind of silky now my hair feels soothing um like a menthol um that's because i had the peppermint oil in there the tea tree oil in there so my pores opened up um and that's a good thing i wanted to make sure i get this demo out to you guys and that way you could see what i do with my hair mask so i'm going to wash it out and then I'll go ahead and style it and I will repeat this method um, in another two weeks or in another one month. So I hope you um, liked this um, tutorial um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Yes, go subscribe to my channel so you don't miss when I upload a new video. What do you think about these hair videos? Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this hair um, mask. Um, what all my lovies out there use. Let me know how you do your hair mask. I know people have different variations of hair mask and what powders or what oil you like to add in your mixture or in your regimen. Once again, I will see you on the next video. All right, bye guys.